for joining me um, on this tutorial on how to use WordPress as a digital portfolio. I'm going to walk you through, there are five major steps um, to doing this, and this is going to be a great tool for um, instructors. You can use this as a class website, but also for students, you can use this as a portfolio tool um, to demonstrate all of your work, and uh, your, your instructors may use this to um, have you demonstrate or post your work online. Um, I've used this over the last four years, three to four years, and it's been an um, amazing tool um, for my students. And in fact, this has become their online portfolio um, for how to uh, demonstrate and show their work off. Here's a, an example of uh, one of my students that has used WordPress um, for their portfolio um, site. And she is an aspiring graphic designer, and she's an artist as well. But we actually have, I actually have all my students post their work um, for every assignment we do in class on WordPress. Then this is where I actually grade the assignment. Um, and students have a lot of control over um, how the site looks and what they can post. Um, and it's free, which is nice, and it's, uh, it never expires. Um, and you can post images, you can post embedded YouTube videos like, like this one here. Um, and you can use this as a blogging tool. So we actually have an assignment um, every week to blog why should you get an A for the week. And so my students will put their blog post um, on WordPress as well. But this is where I go to um, actually um, grade anything that my students post. And each student is going to look differently um, because you can set the theme to look different to kind of match the style um, that you want. I'm going to walk you through on how to make one of these right now. Um, so that you can use this as a um, a tool for a, a portfolio for um, for your work. So again, this is there. There are five major steps. The first thing we're going to do is we want to have you go to WordPress.com, and when you go to WordPress.com, um, you're going to get a, a screen that looks like this. And the first thing we want to do is go ahead and click this blue button that says Create Website. Okay, step one of five is to create your site. And basically it's going to ask you for a name that you want to use for your website address. Notice that the website has .wordpress.com. This is a free site, so you are going to have to um, have the .wordpress.com in it. Later in this tutorial, I'll show you an option where you don't have to have that. Um, but for this tutorial, um, we're going to go ahead and move forward uh, with it .wordpress.com in it. In order to not have the .wordpress.com, you'll have to pay um, a fee for the domain name. But again, like I said, for this tutorial, let's just go ahead and use .wordpress.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a name, um, and I'll show you that if you pick a name that's very common, like if I say um, m uh, m Mr. Um, Smith, or actually just Mr. Mr. .wordpress.com sorry that site already exists so basically it tells you if a site uh, name is already taken so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type in my last name Mr. Galligan and I'm going to go ahead and um, just just type it out with M-I-S-T-E-R because I actually already created one as that's Mr. Galligan this way so it should tell me that site already exists so um, so I can pick something different so let's let's just try Galligan so that site is reserved. So let's go back to Mr. Galligan. And it'll say, there's a green check mark right here that'll let me know that that site's available. So once I've done that, I'm just going to go ahead and click Create Your Site and Continue. Um, step two, basically they're going to verify some information here. They want to know what your, uh, your site, site's address is. That's just um, for you to have that information. What I would do at this point is I'd maybe go ahead and um, um, write that down so that you can remember that for later on. I mean, it'll give it to you later if you want as well, but if you just want to write that down on a piece of paper right now, that would be helpful. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your email in here. So the email I created for this is demo at brandbyjosh.com. This is going to be um, specific to you and custom to you, so you're going to put your email address in here. Um, 
and then in a minute it's going to ask you to verify that information. Okay, for a username, I'm going to go ahead and just say Mr. Galligan, make that easy for me to remember. And notice that over here, it's going to give you a green check mark if it's going to accept your, um, your different uh, entries. Now, if I were to put in an email here, let's see, I, I know I have some other emails that are, let's see what it does. I have some other emails that are associated with um, WordPress. Oops. Okay, so what it'll tell you is if you already have an email um, that's associated with a WordPress account, it'll say you can't use that. Now, you can have multiple WordPress accounts under one email, but you actually, when you make your first one, you have to have an email address that isn't associated with it. So I'm going to go back to this demo at brandbyjosh.com. And so notice it, it clears it up for me, and it's green now. It says you're good to go. So it's asking me for my username. I'm going to use Mr. Galligan and my password I've got in there. So then next, I'm just going to click Next Step. Okay. My browser in Chrome just asks me if it wants me to remember this. Yours may not have popped up. I'm just going to say, yeah, go ahead and remember that. Okay, step three is it wants you to find a custom address. And remember, WordPress is a company that they have to make a profit. Um, so they're trying one more time to get you to buy your username. And so you could, if you wanted to, um, buy MrGalligan.com without the word WordPress in it. But it's going to cost you $18. For now, we want to go, and you can search those up here, by the way. Uh, for now, just for this tutorial, we're going to move on past this. You could always go back if you wanted to later and add a custom address. So for now, we're just going to click No Thanks. Okay, the next part is it wants you to choose a theme. And this is where you can customize what your WordPress site is going to look like. Um, you know, it, it's got a lot of different themes it's going to show you here. And if I, I'm going to scroll down somewhat fast just to show you all the different themes that are um, available to you. And... Um, Actually, there's not a ton right there, but later on, once we get into WordPress, you'll see that you can choose from hundreds of them. But I think for initially, they want to get you started, so they only give you about, looks like, uh, 18 or so um, different themes. So you're just for now going to pick one of these themes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose, um, let's see, let's go with this one right here, 80s. And notice it took you right away to step 505. And again, one more time, they're going to try to get you to buy a plan. We're looking for something for free. Free is in our price range here. So we want to go with the one that's free, and that's the one all the way on the left here. Um, notice it never expires, and, and it does the basics for your portfolio. Um, you can see there are some other options here. There's a premium and a business. Those are $99 and $299 per year. Again, later, if you wanted to come in here and add those you could but for now for just this um, tutorial let's go ahead and click select free okay what this is gonna do is at the very top here you're gonna see it says um, please verify your email address now you can't do anything on WordPress until you verify your email so it sent you an email um, to verify and if I go over here to my my email um, you can see right here at the top, the WordPre WordPress has sent me something that says activate Mr. Galligan. So if I click that, um, that email, inside the email there's something here that says activate account. So I actually need to click that activate button. And it's actually going to take me back to like um, a, a dashboard for WordPress. Okay? Um, it automatically took me to that spot. But if I go back to the tab where I was at, this is where I was at before. Um, you can see it also gives me some options. So once you activate, you could, you could just stay on that site where it takes you to. You don't have to go back to where you were signing up at. You could if you wanted to, but you know, this is where you could change. Like if you wanted to add one of those plans or if you wanted to do something with the theme or if you wanted to customize or, or start your first post, you can do that all right here. And I'll just show you if I click on that where, what it's going to take me to. It's going to look the same as if... I was over here on this little dashboard. So it's, it takes you to the same place. Okay, So either way you go is going to be fine. Um, to add a, a blog post um, on this dashboard, um, right here there's a thing called blog posts. And that's basically how we're going to add the different things to, or the different posts to our WordPress site. So if I click Add, I'm going to get this little setup right here. and what I'm going to do this with this interface up here in the title area, I'm just going to type my first 
post and you guys can do the same thing too and if I wanted to add an image or a song or a video um, I could click add media and it's gonna ask me right here to um, either upload a file or if I already have files uploaded it'll be in my media library since this is a new account we don't have anything yet and you can also insert from a URL so if you have an image from somewhere on the internet that you wanted to just insert from a URL you could do that right here okay um, for now I'm just gonna skip the insert media um, but that's how you would go ahead and do that down here is where I'm gonna type my first post um, this is my first post and notice up here you have some uh, word processing tools you can blog or I mean you can bold uh, you can italicize and not a lot of options um, but but you have some things you can use there um, you can add links uh, to other URLs so if you know if I wanted to come in here and I'll say click here to visit my friends portfolio and if I just highlight that and go up here to this link um, it's gonna say where do you want to take me to so I'll say HTTP colon slash slash www dot and then I would add my whatever um, my friend's blog is let's say it was um, uh, jgalligan.wordpress.com and I made actually just out of habit I'm gonna go back here and take out the dot www dot because remember for WordPress it just is the name dot wordpress.com and here's what what the link is gonna take where the links gonna take you to um, if you want the link to open in a new win window or tab I would suggest that and click add link so now when I go to post this um, this or publish this you're gonna see this link here and so that's that's available to you okay. um, so really that's that's pretty much about it as far as um, posting to your portfolio and then when you're done you just click publish it's gonna go through its little process of uh, uploading and if you had a video or a, or something like that it would take a little bit longer now I will tell you this WordPress does only give you two gigabytes of space so I wouldn't actually upload videos to WordPress itself what I would do is create a YouTube channel and then uh, post links to the YouTube videos in your WordPress account that way it'll save your two gigabytes of space because um, you have to pay for for extra space so once we have that um, and we've we've uh, basically you know made that post and we want to see what it looks like at the top of your page it says you just published published a post on your page do you want to view the post so yeah I want to view it so I'm gonna click view post and there's my site if I scroll down there's my very first post and you see the link we just created so if I click it it's gonna take me to um, another site that we already have and so let me close that and go back but here again this is this is back to our site now notice though um, when we look at or looking at our site um, there are some controls at the top of the page there is a little thing called my site and if you roll over it it brings up um, a, a, you know all the controls to your dashboard and to get to your dashboard you could just basically simply click simply click uh, WP admin and that's going to take you to your um, where we were before you can also if you just want to you know click a, uh, a button to add another post you just click add right here and you can see it, it'll take you to one more another one of those okay so um, so it's really pretty pretty easy and and, uh, and, and simple to use for the most part um, if I click my site it'll again just kind of take you back to this um, this uh, dashboard area and if you want to view what your site looks like there's a view site button right here so if I click view site there's what my site's gonna look like and I'm gonna continue to add um, post you can see that there's a search area here so um, after I've created a quite you know quite a few number of posts I can search for those posts or I can search by um, by date and down here there's archives and they're they're automatically dated for you so once you're um you know once you have a feel for how this works um, and you, you can go into this dashboard and play around a little bit for instance let's say I wanted to change the theme or what what my site looked like you know I got this this mr. Galligan 1980s theme up here um, but I want to change the theme so if I find themes right here and I click on themes this should give us some more options um, to the number of themes that we can add 
Yeah, and you can see right now all of the themes are selected. And this will include free and premium themes. So if you scroll down, some of these, for instance, like this one is $69 for this theme. Um, if, it, if it's free, it won't have a price tag next to it. But you can scroll and you can see there's quite a few themes that you can pick from. And, and you can see um, more um, if you click down here. At the very top of the page, it actually g gave you some different uh, themes like that are trending, ones that are popular. Uh, maybe if you're a photographer, you would use a photography portfolio is what we're doing for, th for this class. So maybe you w would want to use a portfolio theme. Um, magazine style, blog style, and again, all are right there. And, you know, one, one way to make it easier, you could click free here. And this will just show you the free theme, so you don't have to worry about the um, ones that cost money. So, with all that said, you should be fairly dangerous now in uh, making a portfolio and uh, what you want your um, WordPress site to look like. Um, one thing that you uh, will want to do, obviously, anytime you're um, done with your WordPress editing, so that the next person gets on the computer, is go ahead and sign out. And you can sign out right there. And the very next time you go to, to log into your WordPress site, you just go to WordPress.com, click Login, and put your information in here. Um, thought I already told you to remember. But, and, and there we go. We're back to my, um, my, my WordPress site. If I click My Site, it takes me to my dashboard, and I can start editing things again. So... I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, I do keep a, um, a web page called the DACC Cloud that I'm going to post this information on. There's also some other um, helpful information and, and things I've posted through the years on other uh, social media and uh, tools for the classroom and for students. You're, you're welcome to, to peruse that, but I'll post um, again on here how to create the WordPress site um, on the DACC Cloud dot wordpress dot com. Thanks for watching. Have